Yo, Texas is good. Everybody good? You bought a bounce out? You going off lunch? Alright, for sure. I'm seeing you, bro. I'm lying my ass off. Ain't nobody in this damn room. <laughs> man, I'm dolo in this room. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. What's good, YouTube? Y'all sure already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Ranks HTX up in this building, man. Let's go. Y'all seen YouTube videos with this effect, right? And you're always wondering, how do I do this? How do I make this edit? I'm gonna be showing you how to do this effect in Sony Vegas right now, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this probably is one of the easiest edits I think I could probably ever teach y'all. It looks difficult and it looks high level, but I'm gonna show you how to do this very easily. So let's get in straight to it, let's go. So for this effect, you're honestly going to need two things. You're gonna need one, the editing software, and two, you're going to need this plugin. The plugin itself is called Ecto. Now. With Ecto, it comes in a whole pack of a bunch of other effects, and if you use Sony Vegas, I know for those that I use Sony Vegas, you're used to like the Sapphire plugins, which have this like, um, let me see, this S underscore prefix to it. This is how you know anything is a Sapphire plugin. But when it comes to anything that comes in the Endo package, it would have a prefix called Uni. So you see anything like Uni.AV Club, Uni.Blur, Camera Shake, blah, blah, blah. And here we have Ecto. So, the thing with Ecto is, Ecto is the glowing effect, but the problem is, it has the glowing effect to the entire outline. But, we want it on just the gun, right here. So, as you can see, I took a clip from Modern Warfare, I went into Gunrunner, and I have a clip right here, I put into slow-mo and stuff like that, as you can see. Whenever you put this into slow-mo, right, it almost makes it like a freeze frame, even though it's not exactly a freeze frame. That way it slightly moves to give it that slightly animated and natural effect. But the thing is, we don't want the outline around the entire background. We want the outline on just the gun. So how do we do this? This is pretty simple. All you gotta do is copy the video. So usually with every video, like I said, it comes with a video track and an audio track. You copy it, you make a video track above it like so. By the way, for those of you that don't know how to make a video or an extra video track in Sony Vegas, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it now. All you wanna do in order to make another video track is you want to right click in the default video track that pops up. Right click, click insert video track, boom. And like I said, you copy this image with control C, you control V in the new video track and boom there you go you get a separate audio track that comes with it like i said because this is a video so if you want to get rid of it or you just want it to be out of your way right click within the audio track delete track and it deletes just the track and just the audio segment but it keeps the video segment so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to make sort of like a mask outline around this mp5 right here we're going to do this around the entire gun as you can see let me show y'all so all you got to do is click the events pan and crop tool when we do that, you go down here, right here, you see position and mask. You want to click mask and you want to check the box. So essentially, you want to zoom in to where it satisfies you the most. And then from here, you want to start making your selection. So you want to go to the toolbox on the left that says anchor creation tool. Once you create this tool, you want to just maximize this window as much as possible. That way you have as much space to work with as you can. And you basically want to just keep clicking and making outlines around the gun as so. Almost like for anybody that uses Photoshop, this basically is just like the pen tool. So you make an outline around the entire gun, and then once you're done, you click right at the starting point to complete the outline. So let's get straight into it. Let's go. <laughs> so essentially when you finish the entire outline as you can see oh it's kind of tripping me out like that it should look like this so once you get to the very 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 oh snap what did i just click once you get to the very last point you just want to hit the very starting uh dot that you made and you know you hit the starting dot whenever everything else lights up yellow and once it lights up yellow boom everything else goes dark around it now for the sake of detail, you can go like within, you know what I'm saying, the little trigger hole. You can go within the iron sights. You could be all detailed if you want to. For the sake of this tutorial, I probably won't. I just won't. It's, this is just a demonstration. I want to show you how the effect looks. This would be more um, detail. Like you want to go in detail. You want to be more precise with it. You want everything to be good. That's all on you. Once you're done with this, you just want to, you know, shrink the window down because we made this window giant as hell just for the sake of cutting this out. So. You want to go ahead and cut this out and like i said like i showed y'all before there are two video tracks there's a top one where we just edited the mask on and there's the bottom one which is just the standard track so what you want to do to differentiate the two is you want to scroll down and you want to pick 
black and white once you pick black and white you want to do 75 percent or like 100 percent either one and you want to apply it to the bottom video track so as you can see everything else behind it is dark i might even put this to 100 there we go that way you can see the color contrast much better so once you have this done and you have that color contrast between the two video tracks it literally is this easy trust me you click ecto you click the default one that they have and you drag it to the top track with the mask edited and once you do that boom there's your ecto effect now if you really want to you really want to be more specific and stuff like that i'm gonna show you how to do this uh by the way if you do want to edit this if you want to edit the colors on this do not go here and start clicking this you know what i'm saying start going into color wheels and stuff like that what you want to do is you want to click color preset and there's multiple presets as you can see there's different ones like there's warm change to that they got stuff like proton beam but if you want to make it entirely up to you you click user defined and then you start making the edits because if you click cool warm or anything else and then you start making the effects and you save it as a preset it will automatically go back to the original preset that's here before so this is how you do it if you want to if i want to show you how this looks let me show you how this looks so you start right here you press play and as you can see once it freezes boom it gets to that frame you see the effect also you can edit this effect as well if you don't like the way it distorts that much you can turn on the distortion if you want to uh, let's do it let's do like 20 let me show y'all as you can see you can still see most of the gun on the outline and stuff like that so that is how you do it now if you want to go into more detail you can do it as much as you want to let me show y'all one more thing you actually can animate this effect if you want to so let me show you all this so if you want to animate the effect let's say you want the effects from start from the left and then go to the bottom right here let me show you all you got to do is click enable mask and you want to click this drop down arrow that says position once you do that you click animate once you click animate then now you're keyframing this effect so all you want to do is you want to drag this towards the top right here as you can see the position matches up right here on the preview window you click up there and then let's say maybe somewhere down the middle of the clip let's make it to go down all the way down here right so when you do that essentially keyframe it let me show you one more time how my keyframes look so i started at the very beginning all the way up here and then towards somewhere towards the middle near the end i pushed it all the way down here so when you press play it will look like this starts from the top goes down to the bottom and there you go guys that is exactly how to make your gun glow like i said if you don't want to have the little waning effect the little you know saying the moving effect with it you could disable the mask if you want to if you want to have it then you got to enable a mask and you got to key from the positioning but that is it for this video man if you did enjoy this video and you actually found it as easy as i told you it'd be make sure you smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel if you are new anyways man it's your boy ranks and we out of here peace